Well, hello there, YouTube. I'm searching for signal here. I guess I'm going to start a uh, tool review Tuesdays. And since um, I pretty much wear this every day, every job, I'll we'll start with my tool belt and what's my everyday carry. Um, obviously, these are separate tools, and we'll maybe do these tool reviews another day. But as far as today, it's going to be the tool belt. So everything that I use on a daily basis is going to be pretty much in here. I don't like making trips back to my van because that's wasting time, and time is money, as everybody knows. So let's get right down into it. All right, for the satellite technician, as for me, you're always going to need flathead and Phillips. These, these, no brand specific, obviously, but I'm partial to Milwaukee. Those are my backups, by the way. So, all right, so obviously Phillips, straight edge, self-explanatory. Um, obviously, one of the greatest inventions, zip ties. Um, obviously, when you're dealing with coax and Cat 5, Cat 6, zip ties, save your butt. Um, a wrench. I just happen to have a electric ratcheting wrench, but any wrench would work for any starting out technician. Um, I use the 7 16 obviously, for taking um, terminators off uh, splitters. Saves me time, but obviously multiple functions for it. Um, diagonal cutters, um, dikes, if you want to call them. Um, I've had these for a couple years, maybe probably two years now. Um, I do have clients, but these are, you can see, they are worn in, and obviously that's a lot, a lot nicer than ones that stick on you. Then you're obviously going to have your F connector, uh, RG6 uh, crimping tool, um, half inch <clears throat> Direct TV. They're new dishes or pretty much any other HD dishes are all gonna be half inch bolts. So obviously a ratcheting wrench is a time saver, not, necess not a necessity, but a time saver. Um, obviously you're gonna have a, a, cable a cable stripper. Mine's a Klein, I like the Klein because I can pass through and you can strip off uh, and get to the um, center conductor so you can you know, obviously tie into other cabling and yank it through and save time. Obviously it's on a basically a keychain. Um, I guess you want to call this a keychain extender. I don't know what you would call this, but obviously it, it brings out enough. I don't have to keep looking for this in my tool belt or if I misplace it. I um, probably go through these like once a month because the um, blades are not interchangeable. So once they dull, then you just go buy a new one. They're about 12 bucks or so at the uh, hardware store. Um, these Greenly, um, these are basically just... Uh, glove holders. I don't use them all the time, but they do come in handy when they come in handy. Um, as far as tools, that's pretty much it. You can, then the pockets, I'll go over here in a second. You're going to have your small parts bin. Um, small parts being um, quarter inch anchor kit, um, barrels, your half inch for my impact. Um, what's this? 5 sixteenths for um, your ground screws. And then um, obviously yeah, I'm going to have a flat edge and a impact uh, Phillips in there for wall plates and whatever else you could think of. Um, and these are just small parts, quarter inch. Um, these are just ground, uh, ground screw clips. Keep those in there nice and organized. Um, a quality level. Now obviously you can get any level, um, but this one is Klein and it has four earth magnets so it pretty much sticks uh, to the mast with any kind of wind not affecting it at all. No blowing off, no falling off the roof or anything like that. So it just sticks there. Um, a Sharpie. Um, you either, you know, taking measurements, marking spots to drill holes, labeling your work so somebody knows who to thank when they're uh, there and they don't have to rebuild the entire job. Um, on this side, that is pretty much it. Obviously, you're going to have your pouches for your parts. These are obviously uh, F connectors. And then you're going to have your pouches for single and dual screw clips. In my, my side of the country, we don't use uh, nail clips because, um, well, there's really not much stucco. And I find screw clips being a lot neater and um, quicker in my end. Um, not, not a necessity, but a impact driver is pretty much a necessity. I would not do this job without one. Um, my Milwaukee's are getting fixed right now, so these are my backups. Not too bad. I do like DeWalt, but uh, not as much as Milwaukee, um, as you probably can tell. Anyways, um, 
and I'll do a review on these later on. Um, but I mean, what is necessary is a hammer drill. Obviously, a hammer drill you can do. You know, you can ins you know you can screw clip anything you need to with this, but it's obviously a big pain in the butt, and obviously an impact is doesn't have the hammer function to drill through mortar, brick, concrete, etc., etc. So a hammer drill is a necessity in this industry. Um, I do like the Dewalt; it's not too bad. Um, I really like the light, but uh, this is not a Dewalt review. This is coming at a later date. Um, now, as far as my tool belt. <clears throat> Um, I basically just you go to Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, I have two electrical pouches. This side I got the uh, what is this the AWP or AW yeah AWP um, big pouch on this side obviously for connectors because obviously I go through those like candy. Um, I install a, um, a basically a impact loop or a hook for carrying around my impact. Um, I don't carry around my drill obviously because that's only for drilling holes and I impact I use this pretty much almost almost every job um, on my uh, right side we have uh, I think this one is the south wire and I got the south wire because of the um, pouch that you can use this is a, just a velcro but it actually separates my single and dual screw clips um, just keeping stuff organized um, and everything else oh I forgot 716 so obviously an F connector 716 is pretty much universal for um, RG6 coax connectors. Um, I have two. I have a um, ratcheting and a regular keep tool on because if you only have one, then you're going to lose it and you're going to have to go back to your van when you're 30 feet in the air and just it's just no good. Um, this pretty much is as far as my tool belt. Obviously, I don't know. I never weighed it and probably weighs a ton, but this is pretty much my office on a daily basis. Um, yeah, I guess that is it. Uh, if you like the video subscribe hit like if you didn't keep subscribing because i like making videos that annoy you and that way you get a, a little reminder every time i post a video all right take care youtube